Okay, so here, a quota. So supply and demand is determined that price is $7 and the amount that's bought and sold is 12 units. So let's say the government comes in and says there's going to be a quota, let's say at 10 units. So the government is saying, here's the quota. So the way that this will work is that the supply curve, instead of just being this line here, will now be this line and then the supply curve is just going to go vertical right here so this blue area that I'm shading in is what your new supply curve is so your supply curve shifts back and that blue line becomes your new supply curve up to this point they're just doing what they would normally do then with that implemented quota they have to follow the, the, the law of the government, which is the quota at 10 units. So this is now where the market will operate. That's your new equilibrium point. That's where supply and demand crosses. So you get this new equilibrium point, new equilibrium price, let's say maybe now it's $10. So now the only thing left is to look for the consumer and the producer surplus. So this area, again below the demand curve, but above the equilibrium price represents your consumer surplus. Producer surplus would be this area down here. This green area that I'm shading in is your producer surplus. So it's just the area above the supply curve but below the new equilibrium price. And the last thing, as you know, the dead weight loss often forms a triangle. This area right here black area represents your dead weight loss. Last, last thing is that a quota would only be effective if it was to the left of the equilibrium quantity. It wouldn't be effective if they put a quota to the right of it.